called What Was the Question? As soon as the TAS, the Temporary Autonomous Zone, is named, it must vanish, will vanish, leaving behind an empty husk. Hakim Bey said that, which why, might be why everyone keeps asking. I said that. We came from aging hipsters, not dead yet of our own furies and excesses, not broken by lies and betrayal, not fooled by the false rationality of the deniers of history. From the youth of the post-hip generation of animist wanderers, not mainlining internet or lost in the mazes of electronic journeys and virtual slaughters. From the children for whom community is an archaic dream vanished into the mythology of ancient storytellers. From the vast heartland bewildered by the world collapsing around us to the tune of consumerist jingles urging the celebration of the new terrorist epic with shopping sprees funded by phantom employment as the homes we thought we owned disappeared into the pockets of those who wrote the fine print at the bottom of the social contract that we must have forgotten to read. We created a space of absolute freedom, temporary but joyous, high on the power of immediate and unfiltered words and ideas given life by the voices of thousands, amplified by the voice of us all. We came to the library at Liberty Square, the loaded tables, helter-skelter, grubby hands, greedy minds, starving to share, hungry to inhale understanding and excrete the madness of lost generations, become avatars in the new millennium, conduits of justice, truth, and law only dreamed of on this stolen continent, offering bodies like cordwood to fire the new revolution. But would we truly choose to die for the sins of our father's gullibility who brought into the enlightenment daydream the perfectibility of humankind? Would we be shot down in the street if it comes to that for delusions of possible equality, illusions of polity in a world where the good life always comes at someone else's expense, where the fortunate bless the dawn from the aching shoulders of the unremembered? Where are the poets of this massive undertaking? Where are the street corner ranters, the singers of anthems, the criers of outrage? the voices of those who labor unrelentingly, not only for themselves, but for all whose rights must be protected. The library is torn now and scattered, dispersed and destroyed by thieves of wisdom, pickpockets of compassion, twisters, perverters of revelation, imprisoners of inspiration, death dealers, evildoers, stormtroopers hidden behind Kevlar and automatic weapons, enacting the will of those who spin definitions, filter reality and sanitize dissent. For whom ambivalence is weakness, selflessness is for chumps, and respect is reserved for the victors. Leaving the artists, the children, the losers, the madmen, and the dreamers to seed the outskirts of civilization with poetry and revolution, wild new growth sprouting from cracks in the sidewalk, overtaking blank city blocks of street shoes, Oxford cloth, flannel and pinstripe, the indefinable anarchic masses insistent on the diffuse ideal, the unexplained, continually explored, uncomfortable bed of political nails that will never let us sleep, that will never let us sleep.